Hi, this is Philip Byrne with Phonescoop.com, and here I'm looking at the LG Rumor Touch, which is a new touchscreen QWERTY messaging phone available on Sprint. It's sort of a follow-up to the LG Rumor 2. It adds more than just the touchscreen, though. Now the phone also gets 3G networking, so you get faster networking and web browsing. It has a camera boost up to a 2 megapixel camera now. And it's also got a bunch of onboard social networking applications for Facebook, for Twitter. There's a social zone for a variety of sort of second or third tier social networking sites. Uh, nothing I was personally into, but you might find some of your interests there. So my biggest problem with the LG Rumor Touch is with the interface design. And it's really not helped by this sort of subpar resistive touchscreen. It's got a very weird haptic feedback system. If you listen, you can hear what I'm talking about. Hear how that's very sort of jerky. It felt unnatural and kind of uncomfortable. But the interface itself is just sort of slow and, and unresponsive, a little bit stiff. The buttons are a little too small for a touchscreen that's this unresponsive. And the entire menu design really revolves around these long listy menus, but every once in a while you'll get a false tap when you're meant to be swiping on one of these lists, and it can be very annoying to use. I had a lot of trouble with the interface, I really thought it should have been improved, and frankly I didn't see the point of having a touchscreen on this phone, it didn't really seem to be helping out the features much. So here's the Twitter application, and you can see the phone does a better than average job with most messaging tasks, with social networking, that sort of thing. And it, it really does sort of try. It's better than most feature phones. It's not quite smartphone, uh, but it really does make an attempt in a few key areas. You can see there, there's sort of a, a background application manager. Ironically, the biggest competition that the LG Rumor Touch faces might come from within Sprint's own lineup. Sprint has a bunch of these similar slider QWERTY phones or compact quick messaging phones from LG and Samsung most of which use the Sprint's one-click interface, which is a much better interface and doesn't rely on uh, this sort of janky touch screen that never really agreed with me much. And frankly, they're, they're a little bit less expensive, they're a little bit easier to deal with, and I have an easier time recommending any of those until this phone either improves a little bit, drops in price dramatically, or just switches to something that's a little bit easier to use. For Phonescoop.com, looking at the LG Rumor Touch, this is Philip Byrne.